poets. I asked our poets and readers to think about a theme of light and dark. Now there's a whole lot of leeway with that theme. And it's going to be fascinating to hear the different ways that they have interpreted it. Our A large tree beginning to tumble, wintry blast. Listening to branches break from the snow in the dark of night, a Poussin. I have three moon themed poems. The moon, the moon is, is the light, light of the night, I guess. This first one is Silent Moon. It makes no sound climbing the sky night. I can perceive the round and the lunatic linen white. It would follow our car when I was a little kid, alone in my bedroom by the windowsill I hid. Peekaboo by the window, inside cozy warm. I marveled at its ability to hang motionless in a storm. I wish I could remember when first I saw its gaze, when the brightness of the full was shining on my face. When first I saw it full with the eyes of this new life, my soul remembered readily the silent orb of night. Moonlight is magnetic. Moonlight is magnetic. Wind is wicked. The lake is lucid and gluttony is green. Truth is a testament maligned by a miscreant. But the moon, but the moon is always clean. Most magnetic, zen, energetic, alluring, captivating, charismatic, absorbing, tempting, lycanthropic, resonating, vibrating, pagan topic. Oh, the truth of an illuminating white, silently moving orb of night. Magnetic scion and the drawer of Orion send oceans heating and women bleeding, while canids crying, ancient crying, to the stenciled pencils upon the night ceiling. Revolving, wheeling, mystical feeling. Timber wolves, gray wolves, red wolves, and arctic wolves. Snowy owls, barn owls, great horned owls, and saw wet owls. All single, solitary, lone individuals. Ones and tens, tens and hundreds, refractive multiplication with solo prostration. The lunatic of night, heretic no right. Magnetically powerful, kinetically hourful, hazy, crazy, logically lazy. Programmed with instinct, awakened at will, the luna alluring calls like a chill. Coming to capture the monthly rapture of how many more fulls, yet the same, yet the same. And this one is about a group of mystics perhaps gathering on a mountaintop at the full moon. It's called Cocktail Hour. Drinking the moon. Yellow, white, orb of night, bold and full, shining bright, on a mountain peak with a perfect view, in a circle sit a cultivated few. Arranged at the center is a pitcher and glasses, aligned to absorb the lunar essence that passes. The intent to harness the elixir and expand the view distilling creek water and the moon of a truth shining through. The pitcher begins to shine with a lunatic glow. When the moment is right, the wise ones will know. 
Beneath the white birch when the white wolf howls, the water will show reflections in the faces of owls. This moon, it is said, has the power. The alchemy will be right this place in this hour. The mountain hermits and monks seek immortality, lifetimes in cultivation, wild and free. They drink a little moon and pass the jug around and laugh at the mortal sloths below, busy rushing around. The wolf howls as foretold, and with that they pour, saving the mountain stream elixir, spines tingling galore. Thanks.